Hey guys, welcome back. Alright, hello and welcome to probably the most almost watched video on my channel. <laughs> um, I love filming this video. It is my absolute favorite to film all year round and I love watching these videos. I think they're just so much fun. There's something about watching these and not only getting ideas and having fun, but also just, I don't know, there's like magic alive when you see like parents like just be so excited about what to share with their kids. It's like makes me feel like a kid again. Like, like I remember being a kid being able to look through magazines and like toy magazines and being so excited. I feel like that as a parent when I watch like other parents so excited too and I'm so excited to give our kids their special toys and surprises and so I get the thing. But anyway, without further ado, it is the What I Got My Kids For Christmas video 2019. This is the third year in a row that I have filmed this. I will try to remember to link the past two in case you're curious because I still stand by all of those gifts. Um, and yeah, so this is this year. So hello if you're new, my name is Sarah, and I do make lots of gift guides like this and mommy content. I also make what's for dinner videos, cooking videos, clean with me videos, beauty videos, home decor videos, and plus size fashion videos, and everything in between. If you like any of that stuff, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button down below and joined us and became part of our little family. And if you have never watched my channel before or you have forgotten that I have kids or what my kids are, who they are. I have two daughters. One is just turned five and her name is Olive and my youngest is Eleanor and she's about to turn three. So, those are my little ones, my little chitlins. And um, with obviously disclaimers, you do not feel the need to get your kids as much stuff or if you wanna get them more, if you wanna get them less, like this is just what I got my family, what my husband and I decided to do, what we agreed on, all of that stuff. This is totally what we feel comfortable with and giving. We like to do our Christmases big here in this house. This may be really small to you guys. So this is definitely smaller than last year's, um, in my opinion. <laughs> um, but that doesn't mean that I want you guys to feel guilty if you can't get the same amount of stuff or if you want to get way more or whatnot. It's totally up to you. These are just fun ideas for you guys. It's just fun to watch. Please don't feel pressured and please don't hate on me because this is what I want to do. And you know what? I'm the mom. My husband's the husband. We get to decide what we want to do for our kids and that's about it. <laughs> and then on top of that, um, I do like to try to give intentionally and try to think about the gifts like working together as one. I found that last year I did buy lots of like random gifts and I feel like one, I, I think I bought a little bit too much last year. I feel like they were overwhelmed with the amount of gifts that they got and they weren't as cohesive. So I feel like a lot of them didn't, even, didn't, even, didn't end up even getting played with or really appreciated. And so this year I tried really hard to be as intentional when buying gifts and to do themes gift themed gifts that's what i like i find that the girls really like those better too because it just kind of all goes together and they have just more things to play with that all work together that makes sense yes so there's that <laughs> all right so let's just enough rambling let's just get started right let's just get started i'm just gonna start with my youngest and the first gift i got her was this Disney Princess Style Collection uh, laptop, click and go play laptop. This um, I think retails for around $13 to $15. I know you can get it at Target, I believe maybe at Walmart and Amazon. I got this on Amazon, I think I got the cheapest. Of course, I will try to link everything I got below and if I can find it cheapest, wherever I can find it, I will link that link. Um, Anyway, so basically, it's a cute little laptop. I obviously do YouTube, so I edit a lot, and my daughter sees me on my laptop a lot. My husband is a PC gamer, and so he really enjoys playing on his laptop, and she wants one of her own. Um, my mother has like a little Doc McStuffins one that came with a vet kit or something, and she's obsessed. She takes it everywhere, but it's not nearly as nifty, I feel like, as this one. Um, we've had many things from this Disney Princess style collection. We've had the phone, the vanity, the makeup kit. Um, I'm sure I'm forgetting. I mean, they have like a Keurig, a camera. They have a bunch of different stuff, um, and I just think it's so cute, and it's like, 
trying to be like mommy like if you have a little one that likes to be like mommy or daddy and likes like the like grown adult stuff but you don't want to obviously give them to him um this is like a good option so anyway so basically it's just it's a little laptop this screen i think flips i think it's double-sided um and you just turn it on there's a little blinky light and then you press buttons it makes noises there's typing there's music um, not every key is individual, but for the most part, they're grouped in small units, so it does feel like they have an, a lot to type on. Um, I love that it's blinking. I just think it's really cute and fun, and it's something that I know that she will enjoy, and I'm sure her s older sister will enjoy as well. And so every time she wears the store, she sees that she wants it. So there's that. The other thing we got her was this My Little Pony Twilight Sparkle My Baby. Her little baby doll Twilight Sparkle. So, um, Eleanor is not someone who's really, really into baby dolls quite yet. She likes to play with animals. Um, for whatever reason, baby dolls just have not, like, got to her yet where she, like, really wants to play with them and nurture them and all that stuff. But she likes animals. She likes stuffed animals. She likes little figures and stuff like that. And so, every time we're at Walmart, she sees this. She wants it. Um, this is totally up her alley. Her older sister loves My Little Pony and got my youngest in it now too. And I know this is something that she's been wanting. She always points it out. And since she's only two going on three, she's not super vocal yet about like, oh, I want this on my Christmas list. So you kind of have to guess about. So that's what we did with this one. It comes with a little bottle that's like makes slurping sounds and a little bib. And it's just a little Twilight Sparkle Pony. She's super cute. Doesn't do much, but she's cute. And I think I spent like 15 to $19 on this little bad boy. Um, but I know that she's gonna have fun and love it. So what was that? I got this really cute little bag. Um, she has been wanting a purse just like her big sister has, like something cool and fancy that she can carry around. However, I feel like all like the little girl purses are a little bit too bells and whistly for her. They have buckles and snaps and zippers and buttons and all of that stuff. And it's still a little bit too advanced for her um, to easily just get in and out of whenever she wants to. Um, so I was looking for like a tote style purse for a long time. And for whatever reason, I feel like for little girls, they don't have a lot of options. And either they're really small or really cheaply made. And so I was kind of just going to give up on my purse idea until we went to a craft, a local craft fair that um, my mom and dad and I go to every year. Fortunately, my, since my dad passed away this year, he wasn't able to go. But my mom and I still went. And I found this little stall set up. And it is by CW Designs, I believe. Yeah, CW Designs. She does have an Etsy shop, so I will link it below. Um, and she just has these like cute little tote bags. And they have, she, this one is My Little Pony, but she pretty much has every character under the sun, like LOL, Shopkins, Peppa Pig, My Little Pony, I mean, Elsa, Anna, everything you can think of, she has a design and pattern for, and I just know all, uh, Eleanor's going to love this, so she has a little bucket for all of her figures, um, because that's ultimately what she wants it for. She loves to stick her little figures, her Shopkins, her Hatchimals, her Dorables, Anything she can have that's tiny and cute, she likes to put in buckets. And we will get her little buckets throughout the year to pour those things. And so this is like her new fancy bucket. <laughs> um, so I, of course, will have the Etsy link below. But I just think it's super cute. It's not like anything cute and like on trend, super, you know, like she has like a little glittery satchel or anything. But it's perfect for a little girl. And I think it's it'll be very useful for her. So she has her purse. And then, of course, to go along with that, she needed some figures. I honestly don't know when she's going to grow out of this phase. I feel like she has loved figures now at least the whole second year of her life. Now we're going into the, her third year and I just feel like she has loved these things. I just figure that she's going to give up but she still has yet to do so. Um, I got these on sale I think during Black Friday. Amazon had these down to like $8. I think they retail for around like $15 maybe $19. I'm honestly not sure. But um, there's 12 little eggs, so 12 little shop or Hatchimals. Um, two of them, you can already see what they are, but the rest of them are surprised. These look like the Swanlings ones. Um, this is season four. I honestly don't know much about them. I do wish that these weren't birds. 
I wish I looked more into that just because I'm not a big fan of birds. But you know what? She likes them. They're hers. I needed to stop. <laughs> anyway, um, I know she's going to go berserk when she sees these. And so they can now travel alongside her little purse. Okay, so kind of Eleanor's bigger present from us. Um, are these two items right here. And the first one is this set of My Little Ponies. Um, like I said, my oldest, Olive, is obsessed with My Little Pony and she got my youngest in them. Ollie has every single pony and villain and whatever under the sun and Eleanor wants to play with them so badly. Now sometimes Olive does let her play with them and shares them, but again, Olive is five. She's still learning to share. It's not super easy for her um, and she has a hard time. So I wanted to make sure that I got a set for Eleanor um, of her very own and I saw these these were only $11 at Walmart They were on clearance and I've talked to you guys about this in every single gift guide video I pretty much do but I shop for my gifts year-round this year was a little bit later Because um, stuff was going on but normally I will start shopping in like the summertime for gifts and um, Really early just because Walmart and now Target this year and even Amazon always has like these big toy clearances before they make room for specifically walmart target before they make room for um all of the fall new fall releases and christmas toys and stuff like that so they will mark down a bunch of their stock and inventory to fight to get rid of it or just to get rid of like the bulk excess stuff and this was one of the items this was originally over 20 dollars, so having it for 11 is a total bargain and steal and um this was from the pirate ponies collection i don't know if that's from the movie or the show i honestly have no idea all i know is that they're pirates um and they're super cute and the reason that i also like the fact that they're pirates is because they're different so we'll know exactly whose pinkie pie is whose and whose rainbow dash is whose um and they won't have to figure out like no that's my pony no that's my pony they'll know exactly whose pony is whose so um definitely shop that sale i feel like I always forget the date. I feel like I should write it down. It's either it's like in like the very beginning of summer or like the middle to end of summer, but it's in summertime um, at Walmart and Target. So definitely keep an eye out if you are looking for some good toys. Okay, and her last kind of like bigger item for us is this bad boy. And this was the My Little Pony Twilight Sparkle Magical School of Friendship. Um, this was on sale for closeout price for $29.99 at Tuesday mornings. If you guys don't know what Tuesday mornings is, it's basically like, like a fancier version of Big Lots to me, I feel like. I love Tuesday mornings. It's so much fun to shop at. Um, it's kind of like in between Big Lots and Home Goods. I feel like that kind of style. And they have a lot of toys that, um, have either been like discontinued or are like limited or rare or even stuff that they still have but are just cheaper prices. I've gotten a lot of my presents this year from Tuesday mornings and have been so lucky to score specifically with My Little Pony stuff. And so we were lucky enough to find this and it like lights up, does all these fun cool things um and we got this for eleanor because my mom has like a little tykes princess castle and eleanor will spend hours playing with that thing with her figures and her ponies and her barbies and she'll squish in there she loves playing with that so i know this is something that she will have so much fun playing with and she can play with it with her new pony set and she can play with it at home and there's enough space for her and her sister to both play with it i think that they still have this i believe that you can still get this on amazon i will try to link it below um i think it's around like 50 dollars or so um but i will link it below if i can find it and if it's on sale but i think it's really cool and i know that she's gonna freak out when she sees that I know that that's just for her moving on to our father Christmas Santa presents um, if you have little ones in the room I would not be watching this with them and if you are a little one maybe don't watch this um, anyway so Santa was kind enough to kind of help sister out and we work together on these presents this year and Eleanor big thing besides ponies and her Shopkins and stuff like that her number one thing this year has been Toy Story we watched it one day mostly for my husband and I and just to enjoy and she like sat and watched the whole thing didn't move 
just was obsessed and since then we've watched all four multiple times I cannot tell you the amount of times that we've seen all of those movies over and over and over again she's obsessed she loves them and so this year she knew exactly what she wanted to ask for from Santa and she wanted Buzz and Woody now um, not all Buzzes and not all Woody's are created equal I had to hunt down the best ones or at least the ones I thought that would work the best for her so I want to share that all with you because let me tell you it's been a journey I have been on the hunt for about six months now for these toys anyway so the first one is good old Woody now he's technically a collector's item he's a Disney Parks Woody and I honestly don't know what year he came out or when I ended up getting this on Walmart probably paid way too much money. I think I paid like 60 bucks, maybe more, maybe less. I honestly can't remember. Um, but he has the original signature of good old Andy on the bottom of his foot. The ones that came out this year for Toy Story 4, at least the ones that you could buy at like Target and Walmart, his feet were like cloth. They were not plastic. His body was really, really hard and his voice did not sound anything like Tom Hanks, nor did it say any of his catchphrases. And I knew if I was going to get her a Woody, I wanted to get her as an authentic one as I possibly could. And so I went on the hunt and I found him and I just love him. He needs to be the one who has Andy on the bottom of his foot. And I just, he's super cute, super handsome. He feels like the real Woody and I, I cannot wait until she opens him. He also has the string and he says all of the, he has all the original phrases and sayings and I just think he's so cute. I cannot wait until she opens him on Christmas morning. And then next we have good old Buzz Lightyear. Um, this is kind of the same situation. He is actually from the Disney store and all of the rest of the ones I'm going to show you are from the Disney store. Um, the ones they brought out at Target and Walmart this year were really weird. They were just like, they didn't have the same phrases. That his, he didn't have wings. He wasn't fully articulated. Um, I remember when my brother got Buzz one Christmas when after the first Toy Story came out and he was the coolest Buzz. And I spent so long searching for that Buzz, but I couldn't find one that was in good enough condition. And so I finally just bargained with this guy and I actually think he's really awesome. Um, he reminds me a lot of my brother's Buzz. And this one was from Disney Store, so it's easy to get your hands on. He's got his helmet, he has his lasers, he talks. He is from Toy Story 4, so he does have Bonnie's um, name on the bottom of him. But at the end of the day, Eleanor has been around for Bonnie just as much as she's been around for Andy and Andy's probably more important for my husband and I than it is for her. Um, he retails for $32.95. He has been on sale the past couple of weeks um, and I got him for like $25 I believe. Now I thought I was done. We were going to do a lighter Christmas this year and then I broke down and I didn't and I still am shopping. So if I still buy stuff um, I will probably end up showing you guys that if you're interested, if you still want to see that in a video, if you want to see more toys. I thought I was like, had so much stuff, and then when I started pulling stuff out, I was like, there, there's not that much. <laughs> I have a problem. Anyway, so long story short is we continued on with her collection. Um, my mom is getting her Bo Peep, um, and we ended up getting the one from the Disney store that's more like the Barbie than the plastic one because we just liked her better. Um, but I did find it on Amazon for cheaper, so I will link that one below. And then we got good old Jessie because she had to have Jessie too. Um, and the one that they had at Target and Walmart this year, like I said before, which just wasn't nearly as good. She didn't have her yarn hair. It was plastic. This one looks just like the authentic um, Jessie as well and her Woody Roundup outfit and then she has hard boots as well. Um, Eleanor already has Bullseye and so we're not going to add him on but now she'll have the whole clan. And the cool thing about the ones that are the Disney store this year is they have toy detectors. So she'll be able to talk to Buzz and Buzz will be able to talk to her um, which I think is pretty stinking cool. And then she is also upholstering. Good old Jessie. Um, and she retails for $32.95 as well, but of course I didn't pay full price for any of these ones that I got at the Disney store. And then 
she started mentioning that she wanted slinky um i didn't even know they made a slinky so i started researching it and so did my brother and we both found out that he actually is does exist and he actually is a slinky um i was apprehensive to get her slinky because i didn't want the slinky to get kinked and hurt and broken but he's so cute and he looks so authentic and I love his little flappy ears. So we ended up getting her this one and we're just going to have to work with her and try to teach her how to take care of him. He is the same price, $32.95 and he also talks. But he um, is not a toy like interactive one. He doesn't talk to the other one. He doesn't have a toy detector in him. But he's still really cute and perfect and she'll be so excited to have Slinky. And then last but not least, to go along with Slinky, we got Rex, which is her other favorite. Now, she of course still doesn't have like Forky or Ham, but she does have a birthday coming up in not too long. So if she still wants the rest of the gang, we'll talk about those then. But for now, this is the end of the, her Toy Story figure journey. He is also a toy detector and he talks too. And I think his like his little jaw moves and his shoulders and his hips and his tail and he does all sorts of things as well. Um, he retails for the same price, $32.95. And he's just super cute. He's just like big and T-Rexy and I just love it. I'm so excited. She's gonna be so excited to play with these toys. Um, she was witty for Halloween. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you should. My name is Sarah England on Instagram and um, she was witty for Halloween and she was so freaking cute. And so I just want to get her in her costume again and take a picture with all of her, her buddies. Um, anyway, so for now, that is it for Ellie. Now, like I said, I feel like I'm still kind of shopping, which I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to continue or not or what I should do, but as of right now, we're done, but who knows? I feel like I'm still on the verge. Um, I do have obviously their stockings, which I will do a whole separate video and show you what we got for them. Um, we do have a couple last minute things that I will show you that they both equally got. I always get them books every year for every occasion. You guys always see me give books. It's incredibly important to me. It is always something that I've enjoyed. Um, if they, I do not buy them toys throughout the year unless they earn them for something or they save up their money. But if they want a book, I will buy the book. For Ellie's book, we got her the Toy Story Welcome to Annie's Room and Beyond. Um, I think this book is so stinking cool. I got this on Amazon for like $6 and it's kind of like a look and find almost. There's a ton of things going on in each picture and each page and picture um there's it's kind of like you know two pages together but is kind of like a scene through the movie so um it has just a couple sentences which is perfect for her since she's still little and can't sit through a long story yet but there's so much going on through the pages so she'll so much to look through and point at and we can say okay where is woody and then she can search and find him and everything is labeled which is something else that i really like because that'll help with her learning her letters and kind of almost like sight words for toy story where it's like oh here's ham and this is h-a-m-m -M. that spells ham and rex r-e-x and this is something that will grow with her, I think, really well. So we have um, Andy's room, there's Sid's room, um, there's like outer space with Zerg, they have Al's apartment, um, Al's toy barn, the Barbie aisle, Wild West, Sunnyside, all the way to the carnival and everything in Toy Story 4. So it spans all four movies and it's super cool and I know she's going to freak for this. Next is Ollie. Now, Ollie loved Frozen when it first came out um, and she saw it, the first one, and was like Frozen fever, nonstop, everything had to be Frozen. It was her number one love in life. And then she just, it just died. Like she just stopped caring about Elsa and Anna. Like she didn't want anything to do with them. It was like no big deal, whatever, they're whatever. I've moved on to bigger and better things. And then we saw Frozen 2 and everything has changed. And now we're non-stop Frozen fever all over again. Eat, sleep, and drink Frozen. Want to listen to the soundtrack all the time. Want to watch the movie again. She's seen it twice. Dresses up like Elsa every day. So I know I had to get her a Frozen 
book this year. This is the Frozen 5 Minute Stories. I got this for $5 on Black Friday at Target, but it is normally $12.99. And this just has a bunch of 5 Minute Stories in here. And they span from the first Frozen all the way through Frozen 2 at the end. So she'll get the best of both worlds. And they are perfectly linked for her because she's now five, so she can sit through a longer story. And since it's something that she really enjoys, it'll be something that she can easily sit through. And they have all the different seasons in here. They have Christmas and spring and summer and all of sorts of stuff. And so I know that she is going to just love this. I think it's so sweet and I'm so excited for her because I know she's gonna love it too. So, Frozen 5 Minute Stories. <laughs> the last thing that both of them got together were PJs. I always include PJs in my videos as well. And this year, of course, Frozen. So, Eleanor has Anna, and it worked out perfectly because Eleanor loves Anna and Ollie loves Elsa, and it's like respective for their age, it's perfect. So I ha got this little nightgown from Target. They were finally on sale, and Target was doing an awesome um, deal where it was like buy two Disney items get one free and I think they're still doing that so I will have everything linked below I just think that's an awesome deal that they were having um, so these originally retail for $16.99 and I believe I got them for like $11 so this is Eleanor's she has Anna and then Ollie has Elsa they're really beautiful they're perfect for them I know they're gonna love them and be so excited to open them so each of them got their little PJs and kind of dress up dresses all in one. Okay, moving on to exclusively Ollie's present. The first thing are these bad boys. And I honestly don't know if I'm gonna break one up for each kid or give them both to Olive. I honestly don't know, but they're, they're gosh darn, LOL, glitter, globe, surprise, freaking toys. I was not gonna get these LOL toys. I just was gonna refuse to do it. I remember last year I didn't get any LOL stuff and you guys were like, thank God, because every video, everybody was talking about LOL. And that's just because my kids just never had interest. Like, it just wasn't a thing. And then this year, Ollie, out of nowhere, is like, oh, LOL. And I'm like, okay. And she's like, well, I just want all the big LOL stuff now. I'm like, okay, well, it's a little too, too late, my friend. <laughs> like, Christmas is a coming. So I decided to get them at least her either two or split them up. I haven't decided yet. Um, these are basically buy one get one on Amazon a couple days ago. I've noticed that on Amazon, Target, and Walmart, they've been having sales on their LOLs, um, and it'll be like a different season or whatever every day or every couple days. So they have the glitter globe, and then I think they have like some sparkle one on right now, and like whatever. The different seasons, the different freaking balls and years they come out with, they have like cells on them and stuff so these are the new ones i believe i have honestly really not much knowledge about lol but i just hear that there's like glitter and snow and it's gonna be a mess but anyway if you have a little one who likes lol amazon and walmart and target all have been doing good sales on them so i would recommend that on that but we got lol has made an interest in our entrance in our lives for ollie this year for her like kind of regular Christmas gifts. Um, this is actually from my brother, but I wanted to show it to you guys um, because it kind of goes around with the rest of her gifts. We got her a Jojo Siwa doll, but this is the My Life dolls from Walmart. So they're kind of like the American Girl knockoff ones with the 18 inch dolls. So she wanted like an 18 inch American Girl doll kind of style. I don't think she really would know if it was American Girl or not. She just wanted a big doll like this. Um, and Corey actually found this, who's my brother. He found this in Walmart randomly one day over the summertime. And we were so excited because when they brought these out earlier this year, they sold out so fast and that seems to be what happens. They also brought it back not too long ago and it sold out again. So I am gonna link it below just to see if before Christmas you can get your hands on it if they bring it back in stock. But if not, if you see this a couple years down the road and they're back in stock and they still have them, then maybe you can get your hands on one if you have a little one who loves Jojo. Um, but she's super cute. She has her full outfit. Olive is a Jojo Siwanator fan kid. Um, she was Jojo for Halloween. She's obsessed. And so I know not only did she want a big doll like this, 
it's Jojo. So she's gonna be so excited. So this is actually what my brother is giving her. And so from us, um, we wanted to go along with that and just get her a bunch of different like accessories and clothes and kits. Um, a lot of the ones that I purchased, I ended up purchasing on Black Friday and they haven't come in yet. So I ended up going with the My Life rather than like our generation from Target, but both of them are great. Um, I will post or put pictures and links up. We ended up getting the vanity, um, the wardrobe, and I the bedroom kit, and I think the school desk or something. Something like that. I think maybe just the bedroom kit. And then on Amazon, I found a really cool like desk that came with like little um, uniform outfits and stuff. And so I got that too. Um, and I have that popped up as well. And so that is all the stuff that we got for her as far as like little kits and stuff like that. She's now moving on to getting into those types of things. And so I wanted her to be able to have a lot of stuff to be able to play with it and really like immerse herself into that. So that all kind of goes together. And then along that line, I got this My Life little spa set. She loves playing spa for herself, for me, for her dolls. And this is so freaking cute. It's on sale at walmart.com for like $4 right now. And it has a little like clip-on plastic face mask, a little plastic cucumber eyes, um, and then a little headband, little nail files, real nail polish that will like wipe off her fingernails, and real like Orbeez that you can put in water and she'll have a little foot bath. I know she's going to love that. I also got her a little sleeping bag. Um, if you saw last year, I ended up getting her that bed um, that was in this line for her like dolls last year. And so now she's adding on to her collection. So I wanted to get her a little sleepover um, sleeping bag. Gosh, it took me a while to say. <laughs> and it has a cute little eye mask and little slippers. And this was like seven or eight dollars at Walmart. Um, I got her two little outfits. One is like this little sweater and pants set. And then this next one is this ballet outfit it has like a little tutu and a little shirt. These were $9.99 each. And then I also got her some shoes. I got these adorable little Western boots also from the My Life brand. I think these are like $5 or something around there. And then I got her this purse at Sparkly. It has a little tassel. This was like $3. I got her a set of little cat headphones. Um, but the JoJo doll comes already with headphones, but I didn't think she did, so I got her more. <laughs> I got her... I got her these little purple gladiator jellies and then she, um, Olive is in gymnastics and loves it and so I knew that I wanted to get her a little gymnastic outfit. So this one is from Dress Along Dolly. I got it on Amazon and it comes with a gymnastics mat and then a little USA themed Leo and it's super cute. I know she's going to be so excited to have Jojo do gymnastics and even maybe come with her and watch her do gymnastics. So. This is really cute. I mean, it's not the best quality, but it's only like 13 bucks and stuff on Amazon and it's adorable. Um, and I think that's all for her like main presents. Um, oh, to go along with the school desk that we got her, we also decided to get her this. This is from Learning Resources. Um, and I just, when I was a kid, Pretending to be a teacher and having a play school set was my favorite thing in the whole entire world. It was my favorite toy and now that she's in pre-k and about to go to kindergarten she's really getting into like pretending to be a teacher too and loving to do school and so I knew that this is something that not only would she love just for herself but something to be able to play with her dolls. Um, learning resources I got a lot of stuff from that company last year um, for Eleanor and I've got stuff a lot since then and I love this brand. I think this brand is phenomenal. It is amazing quality, great price, I highly recommend them for their play food and their learning toys. Amazing. And this, I'm sure, will be no different. It has amazing reviews on Amazon. It has a dry erase board, a weather map that flips around to a month. I think it goes to like a monthly calendar, United States map that flips around to a world map, a little pad for school supplies, stickers, hall passes, uh, certificates of excellence, report cards, grade, uh, grade book, 
a pointer, which who doesn't like that pointer of a kid and their mother, <laughs> the bell, um, and a little clock. And I just think she will love this to not only play with herself, play with her little dolls as JoJo um, goes to school with that school desk that we got her from Amazon, but also with her sister. So this is not only great for open-ended and pretend play, but it's also educational with her to work on her weather and her states and her letters and all of that stuff so i think this is so awesome i can't wait um i believe this retail is normally for around 30 or so 34 maybe i got it um for cheaper on amazon once again i will link it below for ollie's santa present she was 100 percent deciding that she wanted to have equestria girls um which they are the my little pony like teenage versions um, so they're like Barbie doll My Little Ponies, basically. And she wanted those along with the Equestria Girl High School. Now, the high school is like $70, $80, and it is terrible quality. The reviews are atrocious on it. And I was like, I don't want to spend the money on something that is that expensive for such little quality. So um, I actually, I will insert a picture. I have this, which is still in excellent condition. I wish that I still that I brought it with me but it's still at my mom's house um is a I think it's like our generation or generation teen or something like that school that I got um one of my many Christmases as a kid and this is probably besides my Barbie dream house that I got this is probably my second favorite Christmas gift gift I ever got I got so much use out of this thing and it's still in excellent condition and as like usable real lockers that open up and close it has a stage for a dance it has like the sides pull out and there's a cafeteria and there's like a school um like photography room but i always use it as the classroom and the front is like a real like opening school area it is the coolest freaking thing and they do not make toys like they used to man this stuff was awesome and it is still in such good condition i wanted to get her like a new one um, on eBay and stuff, but they retail for ridiculous. So I will try to find the cheapest one below and link it if you're interested. Um, but I am so excited to give this to her because not only is it special because it was my toy, but it was one of my favorite toys and it's an awesome freaking school. So to go along with it, I got this classroom play set. This is from the brand Gloria. I had this as a little girl too, and I thought this was from Barbie, the actual like Mattel Barbie brand. And I searched for so long to find this toy, thinking that it was from Barbie, and they never had it. Barbie's never created like a school set like this. And I ended up finding this one and was like, oh my gosh, that's it. But I had no idea when I was a little kid. But it has a bunch of little desks, it comes with books, um, the teacher's desks, a little locker, a computer, everything super cute. I cannot wait. This is going to bring me back to my childhood and so many memories. I love this. I got this off of Amazon, but they, I've seen it also in Walmart, Walmart too. Um, I think it was like $19 or something like that. And then the cafeteria actually came with a little table and food and stuff like that but that i have now since lost since being a kid so i wanted to get one to go with it so i got this barbie one i got this on sale during the summer clearance for about four dollars but i think it's only about seven dollars now or maybe nine or something like that um but it is a full picnic table it's just like collapsed right now but basically it looks like that and it comes with like hot dogs and glasses and ketchup and stuff like that and has a little picnic basket with seats of course this is like a picnic table but we're gonna make it look like it's in the cafeteria um the thing i do really appreciate about the barbie stuff now is instead of like putting the food down they have like little holes for it to go on and you stick it inside and that way it doesn't like fall off which is something that used to drive me crazy when i was a kid and i love the fact that it'll stay on there so I just think this is really cute and it's just going to go along with the theme as well. So I will have all of this kind of open and set up. And obviously the big kahuna, the main thing that she really wanted, <laughs> were the Equestria Girls. So, <laughs> Tuesday morning delivered, along with some other stores. But basically I got her all of the Equestria Girls. Um, some of them I was able to get on massive clearance at Target because I believe that they're having a new Equestria Girl show, so they're probably making new Barbies. Of course, you'll probably see those and want those ones. Um, but they were on clearance at Target this summer for $4.98, so I was able to get Fluttershy on clearance. 
and Twilight Sparkle on clearance. And since then, they've also been in clearance at Walmart that I've seen. Uh, Twilight Sparkle, and then I also got it for uh, on clearance with Rainbow Dash. And then I did have to order the next couple of them because I couldn't find them on clearance at the time. So I got Applejack. Um, I believe I got these at Walmart or Target. They were still inexpensive. Um, Sunset Shimmer. They were definitely still not full price. I think I spent like $6. And then Pinkie Pie. Now, um, Rarity was really hard. Apparently, Rarity is also rare. So I could not find her anywhere. And everywhere online, she was like 25 and upwards. Um, and so I was just going to bite the bullet and pay for it until we went to Tuesday mornings. And I found her and a super fancy version of her. And she has a full other outfit. This is the Rarity So Many Styles. Um, and she retails for originally $20, but um, she I got her for $9.99, which is the normal price that these were. So, and she comes with a full second outfit. So she has Rarity. And then the same time I found a Pinkie Pie that day and that full outfit too. And so I got the Pinkie Pie. So I'll probably donate the other Pinkie Pie to um, Toys for Tots or something like that. Um, but I also have the other Pinkie Pie now. So that's what I'm saying. Like definitely check out Toysie Mornings because they have a lot of really awesome toys for really awesome prices. And if you've been having a hard time finding a toy maybe that's been discontinued or something like that, try Tuesday mornings if you have one near you. Um, we've gone every year since I was a kid to go to that store when like the seasons change and look for fall decor. I think I got these in like August or September um, and I was so excited to find them and complete her collection. So that is it. I think that is it. So um, some of these toys will be kind of divvied up I think between obviously like some of the Toy Story toys will be divvied up between my family members, the JoJo dolls going with my brother. Um, Ollie also asked for and begged for the Elsa number two Frozen Vanity that just came out. Um, luckily we were able to get it on Cyber Monday or Black Friday for like $39 or $40 really inexpensive when it retails normally I think for like 79 or 80. Um, so we we're able to get a really awesome deal on that. So she will be getting that and um, we are waiting for her Elsa dress to come in the mail as well because that's the other thing she really wanted. Um, I think that my mom isn't gonna give those to her so you will see other toys. Uh, let me know below if you want me to do like the Christmas morning to see all the other stuff and just to see them open their presents. I love watching those videos. I normally watch them like the week of Christmas and just like watch a bunch of them to get me really excited. <laughs> Um, and if you also want to see any videos, if I ended up still going shopping more, God help me and buying them more stuff. So let me know below if you want to see that. Otherwise, I will be filming their stocking stuffers because I do have a bunch of stuff for that. And I will be filming my husband's stocking as well as his gift guide. Um, I filmed that last year and you guys really liked that and got some ideas for your husband. So, or your boyfriend or your mom or not your mom, your dad, or maybe your mom, your dad, your uncle, your brother your friend so um stay tuned for that i hope you enjoyed this video i feel like i i have tried to film this so many times over the span of multiple days and i finally got it done and the sun's down and it's kind of crazy but we're here we made it we're done <laughs> um i feel like i'm forgetting stuff though so i'll probably remember it later and then have to show you and be upset because i forgot it i think that is it of course i will try to make sure i link everything down below if you're interested in any of these items Make sure you still shop those sales. I find that Walmart and Amazon still do a ton of amazing sales throughout the whole entire rest of the month before Christmas time. So keep an eye out for their um, those. Don't feel bad if you miss Cyber Monday or Black Friday. Um, a lot of times they still will reduce things. So keep an eye out. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful holiday season and a very Merry Christmas. And I'll see you all very soon in my next video. Bye guys.